everybody, this is Stephanie with A Very Fairy Affair. I've had a couple of requests to show my um, setup for uh, like birthday parties, things that would be quick. So that's what I'm going to do for you this evening. Alright, so let's get started. So this is my, I can't really see it, it's tucked down in there. So this is a box I got from like the dollar store. Obviously it cost me a buck, but I use it as like um an easy trash box. I take it, once I've emptied it and got over the contents, contents out of it, I just throw it under the table and I put like uh, used baby wipes or whatnot. And then at the end of the event or the party, I just go and I toss it in a trash bin somewhere. And then um, I put everything back in here. Uh, it's collapsible. This is my tablecloth. I mean, you can't really see. Let's see here. So it's got like a thicker one up underneath it and it's got like the pretty shimmer one um, on top of it so it kind of if any paint gets on it or whatever it looks a little bit different it's all washable this fabric I got from Joanne several years ago and the one underneath it um, I got from North Carolina several several years ago so I can't even tell you but I feel like a buck for it and so that's there and it just goes on the table and it's there sorry I have a cold so like excuse my horrible voice so in here I keep also my sponges note that my sponges do not go next to my um, my banner because I never want paint to be on it so there are those I'm gonna set those aside for a minute this is my banner um, you'll see that it has grommets on it so I can just hang it usually I hang it by bungee cords or um, carabiners like uh, just little clips and you can tell it's just it's just, um, I got this material, you can see kind of the type of material that it is, but I got it from Home Depot, and I cut it, and then I sewed it, and then I painted it. Um, you can get it, I think it's like 10 or 15 bucks, and then uh, I just used acrylics to paint it, and then I put a little bit of um, glitter, glue, and gems on it and whatnot. It looks really pretty when it's hung up. So there's that. Also inside there is your handy dandy baby wipes. These are Huggies. Super thick. They're the natural ones too. They're the ones that are refill. This is all refillable. It's hard plastic which I love so I can just um, refill it and go. I'm going to always keep a bottle of water with me that I can just uh, refill. I like this bottle. I've refilled it a couple of times now. I dig it. Well maybe not this one. This one's new. Check that out. Okay. Um, and so then I just take that toss it on the ground and then we're all set to go um, and this is my case this case I got from Harbor Freight I think I paid like $25 for it it does come with its own strap I did change out this strap for <laughs> I stole it from my laptop bag um, I wanted something that was just softer and easier to carry because I like to just be able to you know be comfortable so here we go. So when I open my kit, this is what it looks like. Oh, and if you're curious about the size of the kit, I'll give you a comparison. That's the Huggies box, and that's the case. So it's not very big, but I like it. Fits over one shoulder. Easy to go. So here we go. So when I open it, ta-da! This is what it looks like. So the back of it holds all of my brushes, my water bottle, my business cards, I need to put more in there. And then once I get it, I'll put liquid bling in here because I think the bottles will fit. And if not, I'll figure out a way to make it fit. Um, so this did come with the case and it snaps in here just like this. I'll show you. And it just comes off just like that. So then you have the back. Now, this did not come, it doesn't stand independently. So I used handy dandy duct tape to make my own. I have way too many um, picture frames sitting around my house so I just snagged one of these. Actually, I had this one just laying in the craft room by itself waiting for a project so it's perfect for this and then I just I duct taped it on. may need to adhere it better eventually but for now it works and so now it sits up all on its own. See? Aha! And so on the back of here, I have attached, I know you can't see it because it's dark, but I attached uh, just some Velcro that I picked up from Walmart. And these are my BAMs. So on the back of the BAMs, 
I'll just put that on there. And so now they go on there. I guess the only thing I can say is don't snatch from down here because I guess you could potentially ruin them. So when you're pulling them, pull them from the top. Um, you see I have extra gems. Um, these are my lights. I also got these from Harbor Freight. I have two of them on there. Well, Becca, there you go. And um, I have them, so they Velcro on there. So at nighttime, you can see your paints when you're painting. I made this little pouch also out of duct tape, but you see it's got like a hole in the bottom, so really it's just attached to the sides there. Um, I double layered it, so there's like one on this side and one on that side, so um, it's really durable. But anyhow, it holds all my bling. Pretty, pretty gems for all the girly girlies, and I love it. Okay, so then that's the top of the case. Oh, <clears throat> these stencils I got from Michael, they're just patterns. They have like a chevron and a cool other pattern that I really like. Um, and then, of course, you have your mirror. And I'll just set that to the side and put your mirror wherever you like it. I'll always keep um, like a cloth down. In between everything I just like it it looks better and so when I get to an event I just fold it in half and I actually keep two because I like the thickness of it and I put it right in front of my case because as I'm unpacking I lay my black and my white right down on it and it's good to go um, normally I do not keep this my brush holder off of here so I'm gonna put it back where I normally keep it um, I'll unpack real quick. So this is my global paints and I love them. Um, the containers are hard plastic you can hear and see they are um, they're two by two square inch cases and um, they came from the container store and it's like AMAC AMAC clear containers and then these are their one by twos. See the difference? Yeah. And I just made my own split cakes to go right into those because I like the way it looked. Now, this material that it's sitting on, which everybody asks about, is this kind of material. It's the same kind of material that goes into like your laptop cases that you can get, that you see from, um, like Paradise has them. The laptop cases that we get for our paints has the same. Normally they're, like a circle is cut out and the paints just go in between it, but I didn't take the time to cut all those out. I guess I could, I just haven't. So they're hot glued down. This one did come off last night. See the glue. So, um, but this is how this works and I'll just glue it back there. It's no biggie. So this whole thing for me lifts out. And I just set it to the side for a minute because I keep a bunch of other stuff up underneath here. I keep my star blends. I keep a snaz for bases. I keep an extra block and I keep an extra white. Normally I use wolf black, but I bought a chameleon black. It's their strong black um, that I want to be able to try out. So I'll just pull those out for a second. This right here is the Shimmer Eye Palette that I bought from my local beauty store. It was like eight bucks, but it's perfect for um, sugar skulls and uh, just adding a little bit of bling to everything which I really like because it's really soft looking and it goes pretty on top of the star balloons. So I got that. Put that to the side for a second. These are all the inserts that came with this case. And I'll show you how I use them in a minute. You can see that I keep an extra one right here so when I'm traveling everything doesn't move back and forth. Um, this little thing is when I first started I made my own split cakes. Oh, not the dragon one. Hold on one second. The ones I never want to use always the ones that are come apart. And so like you can't really see that and you can tell that I've used that one that's like my unicorn when I love it to death. So when I'll just have to remake it. And so then we have some some wolf. I really like this. This is just their base palette and this is their metallic. Oh that pink. I don't know if it's like a red or a pink. It's it looks pink, but it is the prettiest, prettiest lip color. I've seen yet. Um, and then this is my Miron laptop case that I was talking about. Um, it was my first thing I got when I first started face painting like four months ago. And so you can kind of see um, 
I've definitely used it. And I don't necessarily have to take this out. I could just leave everything on top of it just like I had it and just paint from there. But I like having this palette because I love this silver. I like the gold. And I really, this red, and it's just me on red, is the best I've found for Superman, not Superman, Spider-Man so far. And this, this yellow which is like, I think it's their mango color. I love for Wolverine mixed with like this blue. So I love my Miron, so it's hard for me to get away from it, but it is what it is. So let's just show you the kit setup. So I move the one that I usually have there. And all I do is move it over. And you'll see while I'm doing this in a few minutes. And I usually just move these and set them up however I want them. I don't leave them where they were because they'll just be in my way and then I come in and I put this one right here you can kind of do it however but what I use these for is so um, when I put my global paints back up on here in a minute you'll see why so now I have this stuff and what I do is I just put the stuff that I don't use, like my extras, and even um, sometimes I keep my star blend out, so I just keep it out. But I put my extras away underneath there, just like so. So now you have this, right? Perfect. I also keep random things in my kit. Like I keep um, Collodium by Cryolon. It makes scars, but I really don't use it because um, it left me with these. Oh, you can't really see it. See those two little lines on the inside of my hand? But it like gave me a chemical burn, so I haven't used it again since then. Here's my black and white. Like I said, I put my black and my white down. So, you know, I use them throughout the entire day. I um I have it's European body art. How you see. And yeah, it's their iridescent powder. I use it more than anything of their glitter, and I use it. These containers or just clear acrylic containers. Um, I don't know if they have them at the container store. I'm assuming that they do. Um, these were my stepdad's, and he's passed, so I can't really ask him where he got them. But he did sell a bunch of baseball cards, so maybe you can find them there. I keep a stack of oils of little clippies for the little girl's hair, flyaways. Um, I have two Mayron Prisma cakes. I'll be getting some more. I really love these. And so when I'm doing butterflies to make things really easy on myself especially at festivals I go do you want the bright or the light one butterfly and then so they pick and so it works for me perfect um, I also keep hand sanitizer and I keep a glue I don't really like that glue so I don't really care I keep an eyelash glue I just picked it up at the beauty store I guess I should actually go get some duo or something but um, it's fine they bother me so then I put um, these over here, so they're just, you know, everything's kind of organized, and I have my Q-tips, you know, for applying lipsticks and whatnot, and I put them over there. Now, you'll see I have these little clips. I think these came with balloons or flowers. I'm not really sure. My mom gave them to me, and they work perfect for um, what I want to show you. So you see that I have the kit set up, so it has like um these things the dividers on the bottom and um, so what I do is I just take my kit or my paints and I put them right on top so now it sits up higher so you can see where it's higher than the actual lip of the case and it's perfect for me um, where I need it to be and so then these I use for my water and what's great is you'll see people who have like the water um, containers like the buckets and I own one but it's stained and it's dirty looking I don't really like dirty looking so these I have used for four months and they wash nicely they look clean and they go along with my clear containers and I like a cohesive kit so that's kind of my thing um, so you'll see me probably keep these actually um, so what I do is I put like water in both of these and then I um, I do, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going crazy. So I use all three of these, actually. I use the back one of this one, this one, and this one, and I put water in them. 
there are smaller containers you could use, but I really like this system. So it's like um, dirty squisher water that you know you can make in after you've cleaned it, and then these this one I use for um, when I need to just wet my brush to reload real quick. And so, and then the very back one, I put my brushes in. So after I have like dirty water or painty water, it's not really dirty. So dirty water, and then rinse. And then I just put it back here because it tells me that I've used it. And so then at the end of the day, I know which ones are clean that I haven't touched in the back. And I know which ones that are down here. So that's kind of my system for my side here. So then they'll just be, you'll see a bunch of them sitting back there. I don't know if you can tell with my brushes. And I'll show you. Like these are my size. Yeah, these are size four. And I have one for black, one for white. And then I have one that I use for colors. I don't use a lot of colors in my size fours, but um, I like having three of them. And these are, I don't, I've never heard anybody else use them, but I found them at Binders. They're called Snap, and I think they're by Princeton. Yeah, they're by Princeton. I really love them. They're like, I don't know, two bucks, I think, a piece, three bucks. And I love them, love them, love them. I've been painting with them for like two months now, and you can still see they've got really good shape to them. So I don't know how long brushes usually hold up, but I love them. And so then I have like a size, uh, these are my twos, and I love them. Same thing. And then I have a zero over here for all my liners. I keep a size six um, round and a size ten if I'm doing some body painting. or And I like it for double dip flowers, but I'm not really good at them, so don't hold me to that. Then I have some filberts here and um, a flat. I also have a script brush that I have no clue how to use yet, so um, I'll figure it out. And then I have my, here are these, half inch, yeah, I need to clean them. Um, my half inch brushes, and then I have a one inch over here, and this is a three-fourths inch, probably from Walmart forever ago. But, anyhow, so that's kind of my setup. And usually I keep all my extra stuff. Um, to the side like that and so that's really my setup it's uh, quite easy it doesn't take me long to set it up when I'm not talking about it so I can be set up in like five minutes maybe maybe less if I'm going oh I forgot one thing um, my sponges so normally I'm working on a rectangular table not this uh, my round dining table oh I forgot a couple of things jump getting ahead of myself here I'll show you these real quick. I told you I had these clips <clears throat> they are they go just like this they clip in the side of my case one there and the other one goes right there so now when I'm painting um, if the wind comes my kit stays up on its own and then I don't have to worry about getting my hands smashed and that kind of business. So the last thing I'll show you is this. Um, and this is how I keep my uh, are these bags of sponges. Is I keep a binder clip inside of them, which sometimes I will clip like to my tablecloth. But I don't normally like doing that, so this is normally let's see if I can do this with one hand. Never done it with one hand. So I, see how this is flipped up in the up position? So I just put it behind there with your fingers and then clip it down. And so you see it's pretty sturdy. It'll hold my sponges there. And so I put the clean ones on this side, I put the dirty ones on the other side. And so I'm all set up and ready to go with sponges just like that. And so um I guess last thing that these are global paints. They're great. They don't stain. Um, they come in normal, like the round containers, just like uh, most paints do. But I repotted all of mine. I like them. I'm missing some colors. This is the yellow neon. It's not their regular yellow. Um, I do need a, a good yellow for this kit. Um, these are splits I made. Some of them I like. Some of them I'll get rid of as soon as I can refill them with something else. These are Mayron paints. I love them. These lay down um, not as, they're pretty opaque, but they almost lay down like a powder. Whereas these 
lay down like a cream. So I guess it's just according to what you're wanting um, for your background. Both of them look really pretty to me. Like, um, this is a great frozen one, and all the little girls love it. But then I have like these three over here, which you can't really see because of that glare. And they're great for frozen as well. So it's just according, you know, to which one I wanted to use. Um, I could never make a rose with um, my Meran paint, but I have been able to accomplish that since switching to global. So I guess it just comes down to what you're comfortable with, what you like, yada, yada, yada. Anyhow, so um, that's it. That's my kit. Hope you enjoy it. If you have comments, probably send it to me on Facebook because I rarely check YouTube. And it's um, www.facebook.com backslash a very fairy affair. Okay. Thanks, guys.